Glad to have you guys back. It's your boy, Jersey Boy. We got part two, episode two of Ghost of Tsushima here again. And I'm so sorry that I couldn't capture everything I wanted finishing up the prologue. For whatever reason, my recording decided not to work. But to catch you guys up to speed, uh, we ended up being able to approach the castle uh, that the Khan was in. And we had a battle, of course, with all those little goons. And then, of course, we faced him, which he's as OP as imagined, since he's most likely the final boss. Uh, he ended up throwing us off of the bridge, uh, which I'm sure he assumed killed us. Uh, because we, while losing, he decided to slash him in the face. Why he didn't just chop his head off, you know, do something that seemed more deadly, I don't know. Uh, but now we're on a search for his uncle of course still but also some allies to help us out in addition to trying to save yuna's brother um so we came across while on the way to completing those missions um an outpost of sorts and we are going to be looking to go ahead and uh ah that did not work out the way i thought it was going to we're looking to go ahead and take a look at liberating this um interested to see how that factors into things that um happen in this world as we do it so this is really really interesting uh this particular base i don't know if this happens for everyone and if it's consistent but this base happens to have like attack lambs uh, i thought they happened to have been like you know just normal dogs or something but uh <laughs> They came out of nowhere, they bite, they'll drag you around and stuff, so uh, they're quite a bit of a headache. And uh, I'm realizing how much the difficulty definitely matters for us, so I'm glad I chose medium because uh, the difficulty ramps up quite a bit after a little bit of testing, but you really have to be on your P's, P's and Q's with the combat system, so you can't just be playing around and, you know, just hacking and slashing, it does require the actual use of um, proper evasion skills and stuff so I'm really happy to actually get accustomed to uh, being able to use everything properly and seeing how the new combat styles come in to play here but I'm interested for you guys thoughts so let me know what do you happen to think the best uh, the best come on, style that we'll learn will be I wonder what happens if you lose one of those. Is it an instant death or do you just look bad as a you know a samurai? Oh. Took an arrow to the chest. Okay. Who else is here? Ah. Oh, and then there are also, um, as you can see, arrows that are attacked from up here. So, oh, there's the attack lamps. There's, <laughs> they are crazy. I don't know why they sound like dogs, but. So we had already found, uh, you, there's banners for each outpost that you need to get to liberate them. So I don't know if it changes for each one. Oh, okay. So there's multiple rounds of attacks to do. But uh, we found two of them already. We need three. Um, and we've been able to collect resources and stuff now as well, so, um, it'll be interesting to see how those are going to come into play for us. I'm going to go ahead and assume, uh, there, there was an upgrading feature, uh, but I don't know if it'll come from the brother who's a blacksmith or, you know, how that'll play out. So I'm kind of interested because this was quite difficult for me. Uh, we took a death about three or four times or so. But um, it's like a little target that you can see when you're in the general vicinity of it to let you know that there's a banner there. So I'm hoping I can just find it and kind of see what happens. Cause, oh, here we go. Here's the last one. Do they instantly leave? Do we get reinforcements? Destroy the black powder cache. 
I, I don't know what that means. Uh, but here's taking a look at things, right? So we have our map, and this is really cool because you can see the entire island, and uh, there's three sections that we have. Uh, par apparently, we haven't fully liberated where we're at since we have zeros in every category, but then you can zoom in, and you can see uh, there's the specific highlighted areas here where I'm assuming we have special events or, you know, some kind of upgradable thing we can Here's the actual tower where we got dropped from uh, a bridge and then we have our actual goals here as well, you know, our current spot. Um, so we will be looking to complete both missions today. Uh, we have the journal, which is essentially kind of like recapping from what I can get a feel of, of kind of what you do objective wise and, and what you'll get out of it. Uh, so you can see archery here, we'll get a bow and then we get some kind of focus tearing trait and the ability to assassinate. Uh, on the gear side, we do get a chance to, if not change our weapon, we'll get a chance to definitely increase its skill with some charm slots, uh, as well as, um, couldn't tell if this was for more stuff, so is there more to just like one charm thing, or is there just like a bunch of buffs for each one? Uh, we have our outfit, so our headband, mask, slot, and then of course our armor itself, and we have accessories, so these seem really interesting. Uh, the saddle, I'm assuming, will give you some kind of mounted buff, and then you have uh, a flute that changes the weather, um, and it's yet to be seen kind of how that impacts things for us. Uh, Collection-wise, so there's artifacts that'll help you learn about kind of Mongolian culture, so maybe it'll give us a leg up. I'll check it out during off-screen time and see if uh, it seems like anything will factor in. And then uh, there's a bunch of resources uh, that you can collect throughout as well as you're traveling. So probably use for the blacksmith. Probably also some things you can, uh, you know, get done yourself. Oh, I meant to check. Oh, okay. So here's the black powder stash. I see. <laughs> Why would a samurai keep lighters on him? Mini boss? Or is this a showdown? Either way, I like his armor. There's so much suspense in this game, man. It's uh, the slow pace is really fun and sometimes like anxiety causing. opportunity miss ah, I need more resolve okay I like the healing system though so based on how much resolve you have you'll be able to kind of use that to heal yourself instead of actually having to wait on like um, a warlord Dogar instead of waiting on um like resources or you having like a potion or you know a salve or something like that so oh i was not ready <laughs> the combat is so intensive here man i i haven't really gotten used to um needing to block and evade so much this feels like Dark Souls, almost in a way. I'd be really impressed with anybody that's really just been. Uh... Oh, that was supposed to be. Uh... I can't get his attack kind of down either, though. Ah, 
play me. Really tired of getting beat down by Dogar. But this is good practice. I don't know how strong of a like a boss he is compared to maybe what we face elsewhere. I wonder if we should be the one maybe trying to initiate attack more often. better feel for it, but this guy has quite a bit of stamina when it comes to him parrying. Ah, I got him. That little combination that he does there catches me at every time. Ah, I tried to parry. Oh! Alright, the good news is, we're getting somewhere. I think my skills are rapidly improving in the defense category while uh, I'm matching up against him, so... I think that's the first, like, real free attack I've gotten against him so far. Okay, so I don't think there's a way to really break that stalemate in the normal manner that I would expect. able to wear him down like a symbol. Yeah, baby. Killer more, killer preserve more leaders to unlock water stance too.
that was a really good uh so we've officially liberated which i guess brought some people back but that was a really what is that so a technique point in some kind of meter field okay i have to look into that uh drop in comments if you know but that was such a fun boss fight for that not to be like a <laughs> probably main mission uh situation technique point earned so new techniques are available check out the options to view okay so we have a techniques here Sam okay so these are some of the different stances so samurai um and then we have we have ghosts and some of the other ones here okay so stone stance stone puncture we have water we have wind and we have moon okay and this is very much so like basic fighting game style now where you can see the the different combos we have so i can't do these until i defeat exceeding amounts of uh warlords i would suppose so is it better for me to just hang on to the techniques points i have now or I have to build my okay so i'm assuming the legend is the the little meter i seen filling up save yourself from defeat when wounded this is probably what we're going to need until i can seriously improve my skills okay i can forcefully take on a, a two for one basically that's nice i like how they did that okay so it's limited right now for where we're at in the story but uh perfect parry parry at the last possible second to perform a deadly counter attack that would be really useful small amount of health roll across the ground okay so is it better to do deflection or evasion necessarily follow the gun and went to hot springs soak in a restorative health to increase okay so I guess this will show me where these are. Tanari Shrines where you can earn additional charm slots. Personalize your appearance. Your maximum resolve increases. This is really fun. I'm really interested in seeing how some of this stuff plays out. Um, I haven't been that great at parrying. So I, I think for now we'll definitely just hold on to what we have. Um, get a little bit better practicing and all that and then I'll be able to really decide what I want to do but let me know what you guys think would be the best option going forward uh, with either one of the stances or you know some of the techniques we see all that good stuff okay so I can buy supplies Sakai, and things here I assume you survived the invasion so far have we met before uh, no my lord but I watched you ride into battle. Please accept this gift. If you wear it, they say a spirit will lead you to whatever you're looking for. Sounds like something you could use yourself. Not with Mongols prowling the countryside. But if it leads you to any flowers, bring them to me. Or other traders. We can use them to fashion dyes. I'll remember that. Thank you. Perfect for those with a long journey. Okay. So this will be really fun, thinking about, uh, you know, customizing you things as we move forward. Yours. Okay, I was going to say, I don't see anything. So you can switch. Oh, that's nice. I like that. It's just a cover, but still. So I need, like, a... Okay, that's a flower. It looked like a four-leaf clover at first. So I wonder if these have, um maybe special damage characteristics or something like that definitely gonna need to work on armor and things moving forward okay something we can definitely save for later you cannot track new locations with the guiding wind okay awesome so this is gonna be uh the first mission we go on Thank i want you. to go and find his sensei take a look at the actual um bow trait or archery skill for us to get and uh, I'm assuming uh, an actual bow weapon to go with it uh, where is the wind that wait what was that 
Mongol artifacts. Let's go. Okay. Can't just go into middle of lakes. It's good to know. All right. So I'm confused because I'm pressing for the wind and uh, I don't necessarily see anything. Okay, so the lambs are just like naturally aggressive or something. All right, so clearly. Okay, so did I just not have it selected? There we go. We need to go this way. Okay, so I figure a good uh good track record for us would be to. to continue going here but I can't just you know go jumping off a cliff um, we should probably try to go and collect um, all right the win the wind thing is a uh, is slightly agitating but uh we'll work with it um, challenge me oh. oh yeah I'm always ready for a standoff um well what we'll, get through a good amount of missions and then we will go ahead and kind of take some time to explore maybe do a liberation and stuff depending on how things play out for us come on boys i am a samurai what did you think this was a terrible pep talk Okay, he's actually pretty good, not because he stabbed me a few times, but because, uh, okay, there we go, but, um, I haven't seen that they were dying, necessarily. Oh, yeah. Oh, almost, almost could have been trouble. Okay, so as I'm taking out bandits, I'll be able to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a good sell, but uh, not gonna go there yet. Oh, they're gonna force me to buy one. Oh, well, that's no fun, but okay. Um, I think the pairing to get more resolve just makes sense. Uh, it'll allow me to be able to use that to kind of help increase things, but it looks like. Um, I do it right before I'll get some resolve and then I can potentially do a really quick counter attack as well let's put you out of your misery supplies let's roll my boy good horse okay So uh, probably wasn't the best way to go, but uh, that's the joy of open world games, you know. If we gotta use a horse and you know scale a mountain, defying physics, we will. All right, you know what? I'll, I'll worry about the exploration piece just a little bit later. These are automatic kill. Oh my god, did they take out my horse? Run, Taka. Oh wow, I can change the camera. Not what I was intending to, do, but it's good to know. Why wouldn't they keep like a blade on him or something? 
I mean, not that I'm complaining, it's probably saved me there, but still. Whew. Sorry about that, Taga. I didn't realize they were gonna uh, get down like that. We're almost there, and then you can get some much needed rest. I wonder if you can actually upgrade the horse as well. That's probably what the whole saddle thing was about, but um. Alright, no, no, no standoffs right now. We, we got an objective to complete here. But I like the very, oh wow, was that like a trap? I like the various things you can see going on and uh, stuff like that. So it seems like it'll be really quick. I won't say necessarily easy, but to, to gain, you know, a bit of notoriety. Yoshi Springs. Oh, someone at the why end God. Me to Sensei Ishikawa. We have been like destroying his, um, our our noble steed's ankles. He's he's taken some arrows for us already. It has not been a good look for us. My lord, would that be the blade of Clan Sakai? So do I just like come in looting your house for supplies, or am I supposed to be finding something? Uh, I didn't see an option to just randomly go initiating. Okay. You know your swords. That is one worth knowing. I've heard tales of its sharp edge and beauty, but I never dreamed I'd see it in person. It has been some time since I trained on a bamboo stand. I would be honored to see your blade in action. Sir, I am here for info. Oh, this is interesting. Okay, you don't really know how well you did until uh, they do the cut. And you don't get the you don't get the options the entire time. Resolve increase. Okay, I like that. It's a nice little mini game type thing. The Sakai steel is a truly fine blade, wielded by an even finer swordsman. But training with bamboo will only make you stronger. I'll need strength for what lies ahead. There are bamboo stands throughout the island. They will help sharpen your skills on the journey. Farewell, my lord. Alright, well... Didn't really help, but it was a useful bit of information for sure. But uh, this is most likely where they wanted us to actually go. Okay, so I suppose we just kind of go around chatting to whoever will speak back. Are you okay? My man was drunk just standing on random stuff. Okay, bathing area. A samurai! A samurai! Another samurai? Alive? I thought Lord Jin Roku was the only one. I don't know the name. He's in Kashime, my lord. I'm sure he would be happy to see you. I'm curious to meet him. It's the only person who wants to speak now. I'm looking for Sensei Ishikawa. I thought he fell at Komoda. He didn't. Where is his dojo? To the forest. I can show you the way, my lord. Excellent. So, by the way, guys, let me know what your thoughts are. Um... As far as commentary goes, the sensei not fight the Komoda? there's no. quite a bit of in-game dialogue and stuff, so uh, I'm definitely comfortable just saving reviews word? and, you know, any well, additional stuff to, like, the end of the man. video or the beginning um, or something like that, or once we finally complete the series, but, um, my lord, yeah, drop in the comment what you guys think, and uh, we'll what move stories? forward from there. They say he sank a pirate ship with a single arrow. <laughs> not the ship, but he shot a pirate captain from the shore. Routed the whole fleet. I'd hate to cross an archer like that. Do you deserve death? I hope not, my lord. Then you're safe from Ishikawa.
The sensei's dojo is up there on the cliff. Thank you. I'll take it from here. One more question, my lord. May I ask why the sensei left his post as archery master to clan Nagao? No one knows. Strange. Giving up service to a great lord for... this. Alright, well, I'm sure we will have one hell of a surprise. And you could probably shoot those down. I'm not sure what that was. On its nest or something. Let's, let's shorten this trip. Let's ride, Taka. Ishikawa's dojo. There was a struggle here. Better look around. Someone was wounded. Remove the arrow. Bloody footprints. The victim or the attacker? Dried blood. The fight wasn't recent. Maybe the sensei is in his house. So I assume I'll follow the footsteps. I like how, uh, you know, we're not automatically becoming, you know, Sherlock Holmes here and figuring out the entire case off, you know, one little minor clue. A humble home for a samurai. Don't move. Sensei Ishikawa. Lord Sakai's boy. You survived Komoda. We could have used your bone. I was on my way when bandits attacked me. Expecting them to return? A samurai is never caught by surprise. I'm sorry about Lord Shimura. He was a good man. He's alive. Taken captive by the Mongols. Then there's hope. That's why I've come. Help me save him. I can't. My student is missing. A skilled archer. I will help you look. Then you can both help me free Lord Shimura. Hmm. Try and keep up, Sakai. Made it out of Komoda. No one knows. All right, guys. So who can fight back? I don't want Besides the video us? to go uh, extremely long. We find out quickly. We can't free your uncle by ourselves. Okay, so I don't want the video to go extremely long. So this will be a good stopping point. Uh, we'll go ahead and be able to knock out both missions next video. Uh, but we did get a chance to go ahead and see uh, our first opportunity to uh, assist in being able to. Um, Let's do liberate a village. Um, so, with that said, please like, comment, and subscribe if you guys have made it this long. I really appreciate you. Much love to everyone out there, Jersey family. With that said, it's your boy, Jersey boy, and I'm out.